I don't like fighters who talk too much. I told you I'm too slick for them tricks. No special training, just be at the fight. I'm ready to back up everything I'm saying, and I'm through talking. Is this, this poem tells Hatfield to be as great as me. <laughs> this is it, the greatest short poem of all time. Me, wee. I attract people in a way that no other athlete has ever done. Why do you fight people who are quite obviously not in your class? Uh, for like, for example, who? Well, you, uh, let me uh, put an even better question to you. Um, <laughs> do we... Does he even get off of that? No, 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 no. I mean, oh, well, let me put, let me put it another way. Uh, uh. Well, Ali is asking for it. Dolce is trying to give it to him. He just kept throwing and throwing and throwing, ran out of gas, or what you all call it, petrol, and there wasn't a station around nowhere. The man to beat me haven't been born yet. I got the modest man to be where he is today, to have went as long as he did, and as good as he did, plus knocking me down, yeah. to get his ranking with no style. Frazier now as he's got Ali on the rope. Ali with the rope of dope. That was a man to beat him and talk to him. And at times this has a tendency to weaken you. And so in later rounds or in other rounds we will soon see. Taunting her. About to go to round 10. Somebody told me George Foreman was awful strong. I said he should try band roll on. That's the deodorant. <laughs> let me go, let me go. From the time the punch started to the where it landed, it was four one hundredths of a second, which is an eye blink. Like a camera flash, that's four hundredths of a second. Now, the minute I hit Sonny Listen, all of those people blinked at that moment. That's why they didn't see the <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Now, if you watch the film close, you gotta. Oh, yeah, that's real <laughs> And keep looking about that. When I say, all right, I'm getting ready to hit him, you can't just, you got to hold your eyes and, and wait. So you won't see it, man. I would box him, and I would arm wrestle him and see if I could beat him. What else? I don't know. Um... You would arm wrestle him? Yes. if you don't mind me asking you that are what happened to your two fingers and she said If my whole trip to England was just for that, it was worthwhile. Uh, our main event will go this handsome trophy donated by <laughs> donated by His Excellency Ferdinand E. Martin. A lot of faults. Like what? What's the word? I can't tell you my worst fault because I'm married. <laughs> You figure it out. But you, I'm, but you, I'm not but, but you know why they say that. I mean, it's for the because best possible reasons. So they fear and they are wary. It looks looks dangerous to them. That's but right. It's not really that dangerous to me. Yeah. And it's, it's the just another day. And I, it's the affection they have for you. They've never felt about another boxer like they felt about you. Oh, it is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Take a, a look in the gym. Look, like Joe, you're on TV at the same I time. Have a, I have a lot of more than stuff. You know, I, uh, 
I go for a lot of more than I saw in a paper actually this week that uh, you've been voted sports personality of the world. Does that surprise you? Yes, it do because uh, of the world. That's a big thing to be, you know, the uh, number one man in the world. And all I had to do was to go out and beat a man who had no skill, no class. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, the man had no skill. I don't know why the world is so foolish to believe in him and think that I wasn't going to win. He only beat Joe Frazier, who was fat and off that night. <laughs> he fought a Ken Norton, a fellow who was frightened, fought me, but they wouldn't fight him. Uh, Joe King Roman, the Puerto Rican champion in Japan, who had no skill. He's never been over t five rounds in the past ten years. The man fights like a woman. He's wild, no class, no size, and, and ugly, and I just don't know why they think I'm so, I'm so great now because I'd be George Foreman. He wasn't nothing no way. They underestimated him. I tried to tell you he wasn't nothing. So now they rank me the best athlete in the world. I mean, I would say that uh, if they would say over all that I've done, if they're saying since I've been in the ring, I would say they're right. But I don't think just over winning that fight, they should make me the man of the year. When Hank Aaron, I think, should be people like him. But you can't put down a uh, foreman like that, you know, can you, Mohammed? Because... I did put him down. Well, I... In the history of America, you just love to see two colored folks beat up each other. <laughs> he had agitator trying to get us fight. We ain't gonna fight. You don't have to agitate. The rumble is on. Oh, we don't get alone, so we gonna get it on. <laughs> and if he thinks he's the best, so he's gonna jump in my chest. Right. So you don't have to try to agitate and push it on no father unless you want us to start now and you might get hit in the middle. <laughs> Patterson's body is suing his legs for non-support. And I said to myself, the champion of the whole world can whoop every man in Russia, every man in America, <laughs> every man in China, every man in Japan, every man in Europe, every man in America. The champion of the whole world can sound big then. So I kept working until I did it. <laughs> and I would, uh... Oh, Come from? I mean, from did you just walk in the dark? No, you... I was out there on the streets, and somebody said they want to meet me, and some I just got powers like that. Oh, sweat! <laughs> so what are you trying to say? Well, what I'm saying is that there are three. Can you box? No. Have no. you ever boxed? No. But well, why do you know so much about boxing? <laughs> <laughs> you got a good television. You have a good television show, listen, and you good listen, script man. Listen. But won't you stay out the ring? Listen, if you if you applied that to everybody, nobody would go and watch you fight. I mean, is it necessary for me to watch you and admire no, you? No, they come and to watch me fight because they don't know how to fight, and they never could be fighters. And they admit and they submit to the best, and they come to see you. Now you are expert on it. No, they I'm don't not. all try to be experts on boxing. You know about the number 10th man, the number 4th man, the number 3rd man, and all of this and the gap and all of that. You've never been in the ring. It's hard. It's not easy. The man is ranked number 4 in the world. You trying to tell me he don't deserve that spot at being number 4? You trying to tell no, me he can't I'm, beat the number 10th man? What I'm saying it, is he can't beat number 3, 2, and 1. That's what I'm saying. Well, so that's right. Well, nothing wrong with that. Well, but if you, He's not such a bad man. He, I'm the champion and can't none of them beat me. That don't mean they're nothing. He's the number fourth man. He's young. He's getting better and better. A few years ago, Buckner was a kid coming around the gym nation sparring with me. All of a sudden, now Buckner's the fourth ranked man in the world. Hell, I'm getting old. I might soon drop out. George and Frazier took a heck of a pound, and he can't take that much more. Former might just get disgusted and quit from what I'm hearing. Buckner might soon be the next man ranked number two and then for title shot. We don't never know. Let him grow. You, did, you won't let the man even grow. Who, have you always been on this television show? You was a little old hustler running around before you came up here one day. <laughs> now look at you. Uh, so somebody told you. So somebody told you.
Wilson, I told you. Well, well, I tell you, you'll never be nothing, and you're not as good as David Susskind, or you're not as good as Eamon Andrews, or you can't make it like Harry <laughs> Carpenter. Anybody ever tell you that? Now look at you. You're about the number one man around here, but you had to work up. You destroying the man and talking about him and taking down for it. But see, people like you are good. It's people like you that make Joe Buckner train hard. Because one day, Carol Harrod, handsome Joe Buckner, is going to be the champion, and you're going to be Joe, but you come on my show. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> You're not as dumb as you look. Fifteen times I have told the clowns the exact round they were going down. What's your prediction for your next fight, please? That's a nice Geordie voice for you. My prediction for the next fight is I'll be there. Wasn't that right? I didn't realize you were so tall. I'm looking for a good sparring partner. Oh, yeah? I can't, I've, I've been all over the country. I can't pay a chump to get in the ring with me. Well, Sonny, listen to somewhere training, and I'm out trying to find help and can't do it. I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, I feel so good. Yes. I feel I pray tonight, and God will bless me. I hope you know, because uh, I done done a good deed today. I done sacrificed all my wealth, all my fame, said what I want to say in a strange land, going back to a worse land, and don't give a damn. How do you watch television? No television. I go over in my kitchen to watch television. What do you watch? But, uh, I watch the Johnny Carson show most of the time. They can the show sometimes. <laughs> Carton, who's got the most color guests on? These ladies, you want me to walk out there with my women, half naked, before all of these men with all kind of nasty thoughts on their mind, with her breasts out, her behind out, with nothing on but a tight G-string almost, carrying me to the ring. I said, I won't do an exhibition tonight. I'm walking on myself. I'm not going to be guilty for carrying my women before the world naked, parading before people. I said, the damn exhibition's off. Joe Frey said, hell, hell, that's you, man. Come on, baby. And he went on out with his women. <laughs> so I'll beat his behind for that. I hate to come all this way and ask a question. Um, what about what happens Fire. if you lose to all that, all that stuff you've got? Next there, question. Right? Joe Frazier is so ugly, his face should be donated to the Bureau of Wildlife. What's the point of insulting each other, though? I mean, you insult everybody, everybody you fight. Well, what's the point of insulting each other? That's right. The garden is sold out, that's why. <laughs> Joe Frazier came out with his head in range, he's slow, he don't know how to lean back like I do, he don't know how to move, he got hit, and he don't have enough common sense to say, I'm hit, I better back up. He don't back up, he get knocked down, he don't have enough sense to say, millions of dollars involved, my heavyweight title, I'm a little draggy, it's easier to get knocked down again, I need about 20 seconds to cool off, they can't think that much. So right away, he get right up, and instead of retreating, he runs into another one. He get knocked down, he don't realize, I'm lucky, I got knocked down twice, I'm getting a third chance. Cassius, do you think you're boastful? No, I'm very modest. I'm the prettiest sight in the ring today. That's my label. Would you have been so great if you hadn't have been so pretty? <laughs> this is really something. This is going too far. <laughs> <laughs> You're so pretty. Well, you said it yourself. No, I just say that to make people mad. They come to see me get beat up. But I don't really, I don't really think I'm pretty. I know I'm pretty. And all, you know, a lot of people are saying that I'm not in shape for my fights. But, like, how much more shape do I have to be in? I'm still unscratched. I'm prettier than you, and you're a sports announcer. <laughs> I know I'm prettier than you. If you look at me and look at you, I look better than you. And I had about nine fights in the Navy. Is that right? Well, you must have been pretty good, because I don't see no marks on you. Nothing. Well, I don't see many marks on you either. Uh, well, I'm pretty good. Yeah. I'm not conceited. I'm just convinced. <laughs> Harry, listen, I'm so modest. I can, admit my, I can admit my own fault. And my only fault is, I don't realize how great I really am. If I had never heard of you, I would not know that you were a fighter. There's no, no cauliflower ears. I don't see a scar on the face. I know. So, uh... <laughs> All I do is just do what I have to do and get paid and that's it. It's been written and written that you're dead broke. Is that true? Dead broke? Broke wow. No money? No money? Don't make no sense. You know something? Would it be a if minute? I had a lower IQ, I could enjoy this conversation. <laughs> my thinking is so superior, and my knowledge is so positive, and my logic is so wise until it clashes with the mentality, which is down here, and I'm up there. So, by me being so high, I can see more and see farther than you. And you're looking up at me saying, Ali, don't do it. <laughs> Please stop me, it hurts. Say, Jim, 
You think I could have a float like a butterfly? Damn. Well, sting like a bee? Well, Ooh. you've got the butterfly part down, Brother Michael, and you sing real sweet to complete the cycle. But before you can sting people out of their wits, you got to put on some meat and keep on eating your grits. <laughs> Man, you're cold, man. <laughs> right. no, I know. I'm... He preaches against materialism, but fills his garage with a Rolls Royce, a new Cadillac, a new Lincoln, no. a new camper. Two Rolls Royce. Two Rolls Royce. And all of a sudden, he's one of the greatest of all times. I said, you all are wrong. This man is nothing. I'm the greatest of all times. You, you are intelligent. When they told me I had to come do your show, see, you're not as dumb as you look. <laughs> Look, Joe Frazier, I wasn't in shape when I fought Frazier, many of them said. I was off three years. But yet it was Joe Frazier who had to be under intensive care for one month. When I fought Mac Foster, I was 226. They say the heaviest of my career. Mac Foster, the other day, just got out of the hospital in Japan. They wouldn't let him leave the country. Everybody I'm fighting lately is ending up in the hospitals. I'm unscratched, I'm unmarked, I'm overweight, I'm fat, but yet I'm always winning. And what, what, if I get in shape, it'll be a murder, wouldn't it? That's the world thinking I'm fat, but I'm ready. I'm gonna dance. That's right. I'm gonna dance. That's right. you, you call Fraser all kinds of awful things. You call him a dumb nigger. You say you got no. Well, you said something like that. You, you said that. No, you, you said something like that. You, you called call, me a nigger. <laughs> you're a public figure, and you're one of those public figures who... Did you say nigger? No, I said, <laughs> I said a public oh, figure. I thought you... I thought... <laughs> I thought... I thought you said you're a public nigger. <laughs> Sister's a real big fan of yours, and we always, uh, and she always, um, she always pretends that she's Muhammad Ali, and she, she really, she really likes him a lot, and, and I tell him, uh, <coughs> I tell him I wish he. What you gonna tell me now, boy? Uh, <laughs> you're, you are Muhammad Ali. You want to meet my sister? You do have money. Do you have money? Yes. Well, if you got, no, I got it. I made 10 times more than you. Boxing but means it, nothing when you look. When you're talking to Muhammad Ali, <laughs> you're not talking to just a boxer. But I know you want we to can talk to things more interesting than boxing. Anything, but I know I didn't Mandy wants to boxing. ask you a question, Muhammad. It wasn't, really really a, it wasn't entirely about boxing, actually, Muhammad. That's um, what I know. That's what I was trying to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> you made fun of the color of my you skin. Know, and no, you know, I didn't make fun of the color of your skin. I just told you. You have the complexion and the connection to get the protection. So I'm now seriously working for my people. That's all. I don't expect you to feel like I do. I don't feel about your people like you do. It's not nature. The question still figures. Would you fight in a country to which you were politically opposed? Say one which had a very unattractive attitude towards the black man. Oh, like America? Why are you so obsessed with our color? I have a feeling you have a little white jockey because out in front of your house with that. Right. And I always ask my mother, I mother, how come the difference ain't white? I said, why is Jesus white with blonde and blue eyes? Why is the Lord <laughs> Supper all white men? Angels are white. Pope and, and um, Mary and every, even the angels. I said, mother, when we die, do we go to heaven? She said, naturally, we go to heaven. I said, well, what happened to all the black angels they took the picture? Something that's, that's... Don't point at me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's something that... <laughs> See, we cut black folks don't like white folks pointing at But it's all right for you to point at me. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> but they... But why, 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 why do you say that? I mean, do you mean that? Say what? The, the, you black folks don't no, like white folks. No, I'm joking. You're joking. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so, so... What about South Africa? Supposing you had a massive offer, say $20 million to fight Joe Bugner in South Africa. I'll go to South Africa for nothing. It's so on the conditions how I go. <laughs> I'm not going to be with no white people. I admire them for wanting to stay white, and I want to stay black. And I'm sure no intelligent white person watching this show, or no intelligent uh, white man in his or her right white mind, want black boys and black girls marrying their white sons and daughters 
and in return introducing their grandchildren as half-brown, kinky-haired black people. I, w- I, and I'm sure I wouldn't I'm, object to that. Well, you wouldn't, but a lot of them would. Well, I'm sure a lot of people would. No, this is the point. What I'm trying to say is this. What I'm trying to say is this. Um, you don't have it. You say you don't, but you don't have it. You really ain't going to have it. You're on the show, and you got to say that. Well, no, 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 no that, that's, that's not true. Why would you want to do that? Hey, how are you going to teach yeah. your old dog new tricks? How are you going to learn some new tricks? You call him an old dog. dog. Well, no, you asked still agitating. I didn't say that. No, he called you. I heard it. Didn't he say it? What you mean a dog? He didn't call me a dog. He said he can't teach dogs. He said an old dog, said, new tricks. He calls you a bear half the time. He I'm a what now? He told me at the camp that you sleep with a teddy bear in your bed. <laughs> now, I don't make these things up, you know. That's what he said. This guy tells me this. Let's I? be friends for one minute just to get him. <laughs> no, no. Please, come on. No, come on. No, no, no. This is my good... Let's show him. Oh, what? Let's show him. Now, what time is it? It's, uh, let me tell you something. Oh, no! Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Wait, can I say something? Let me tell you something. I must tell you. I won't tell you one thing. All the brothers, all of the brothers out there watching television, I don't care how mad you are to each other, when it's come to one of these fellas, Trying to divide us, we must unite. Oh, God. <laughs> didn't they? They said I didn't have a punch. Didn't they say I didn't have a punch? They told me, that's right. That's right. They told me I didn't have a punch. But nothing. <laughs> he don't know what I'll do. He's scared. Just, <laughs> I, I didn't know he was so ugly. We all together. But society's together. made us different. No, not society. God made us different. No, no, we're just human beings. He made all no, of us. We all listen. Blue birds fly with blue birds. Red birds gonna be a red bird. <laughs> listen, listen. Tell me when I'm wrong. Pigeons gonna be with pigeons. We tell me when I'm right. Well, we, I'm, well, we must. They well, we should have. have. Mo- they don't have intelligence, but yet no. they stay together. We should have more intelligence than them, right? <laughs> But Elijah Muhammad has been on record, and you must have been asked this many times, as saying that white men are devils. You don't believe that, do you? Yeah, I believe everything he preached. Yeah. Was it your fault? No, I like to fight. Fighting is the only way I can make a living. You know, if I don't get no fight, then I can't eat. How about the winner of tonight's fight between Kari and Sager? I think this is a that I'll be fighting one of those guys. Good luck, George. Thank you. Thank you. Every time you open your mouth, you should be arrested for air pollution. I worry more about airplanes than I do boxing. I mean, I never worry about the fight. I worry about the flight. I don't like airplanes. I'm in them all the time, though. I can say I can't stand flying, but I fly more than anybody. You tell me what I really fear. I fear airplanes. If you're on the club, I do, too. Yeah, I'm like, when flight's all right and smooth, I'm all right. I'm still thinking, look at the engine go up. Look at the food has got a bomb on it. I mean, all of these, I, I look at the, uh, I go through the, the cockpit and look at all these things, they're messing with me. What if one thing is just off? And we're between America and England over the ocean. I said, where would we land? <laughs> Even if he don't blow up he do, and he don't crash, where would we land? And when we land, will I be able to get my life wrapped out? <laughs> then when I get it out, how long will it be before they find us? Because it's night. You know, yeah. and then will a shark come and bust the thing? And... <laughs> <laughs> All this goes through my mind. <laughs> See, so I've been on a lot of planes that hit thunderstorms, weather policies, ladies and gentlemen. We tried to get around it, but we can't. We're going to have, it's going to be kind of rough. And when the pilot says this, it's going to be bad, but it's just going to be rough. <laughs> and the plane starts to fall and it's swinging. You see the wings look like it's going to break and it's lightning and thundering. And, and you say to yourself, boy, well, I could have took a train. I could have. <laughs> like airplane pilots, they have a worse job than me. Yeah. You know, flying through them thunderstorms and big old jets and one thing go wrong, they explode. I mean, like car racers riding that thing at 200 miles an hour, all that iron and steel blowing up and burning up. It happens in England. It happens horse races, ice hockey, football. More dying football than boxing. So you just figured it never happened to you. I'm sure the people who are now watching this show, uh, I hate to say it, but next week when your show come on or whenever it comes on, a lot of those people are going to be dead. But it's in this. Boy, Don't you love. never hit me back again. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. 
Hold on, are we on television? Uh, yeah, we're on television. Oh, man, we're on television. Just before the fight, they had an interview. <laughs> and uh, in the interview, they were both... <laughs> My name is Muhammad Ali. I am the champion. I am the greatest. I will whoop him. I can't lose. And I'm always here to prove I am the greatest. And what you gonna say about that? You know that fight that you had about that with that white man with the mustache and you knocked him down at the Chuck end? Chuck Rubner, yeah. Yeah, I think that. And you were fighting with him in before they had an interview. You were fighting with him before the thing happened. And you said to him. No, he said to you, I'm going to mess up your pretty face. That's what he said. Right. And then and my said, pretty face is not messed up, though, is it? And then you said, when you get into What are you afraid of? When I, what did I say? When you get into what? You said, when you get into that ring, you're going to be asking yourself, why are you why here? Why are you here? How did I get into trouble? All those people looking at me at the other side were put fear in the man. Right, well, I think... That what sometimes you, you have to have confidence. Because what are you telling me? I have too much? No, I think that some, sometimes you do use and you say that, like, say, I am going to beat him, you know, but it's better than saying, oh, I think I'm going to lose. But I, I do beat him. Right. Let's go, Tom. Well, number one, he's too ugly to be the world heavyweight champion. Age doesn't matter in nobody's I'm case. I'm not saying you old. All right. I'm not saying you're going to be I'm going to be out there every second smoking, Jack. Every smoking. second. You're going to be smoking, and I ain't going to be joking. Yeah, children, I'm going to be, be packing and poking corn water on your smoking. Stay out. And this might shock Smoke don't never die. This might shock you to me, but I'm going to retire Joe Frazier. Yo. Let me tell you something, boy. Somebody told me oh, you got... Word. I said, Roy. Oh. <laughs> Cassius Clay, yes. Why do you want to say Cassius Clay when Howard yes. Cosell and everybody is calling me Muhammad Ali? Now, why you got to be the one of all people who's color to keep saying Cassius Clay? Uh, Howard Cosell is not the one who's going to fight you. I am. <laughs> you uh, make it really you... hard on yourself now. Well, why uh, don't you keep the thing in the sport angle? Why don't you call me my name, man? Well, what's your name? You told me your name was Cassius Clay a few I years ago. I never told you my name was Cassius Clay. My name is Muhammad Ali, and you will announce it right there in the center of that ring after the fight if you don't do it now. He says, you're Cassius Clay. I'm not calling you Muhammad Ali, and you're going to stay Cassius Clay. I said, you're going to call me Muhammad Ali, sucker. And during the fight, I kept saying, what's my name? And then I tell you, you're going to call me my name. I said, what's my name? He said, Cassius Clay. Your name is Cassius Clay. I kept hitting him. I said, what's my name? He said, Cassius Clay. And by round seven, I said, what's my name? He said, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. I'll tell you something we haven't mentioned here. During that film, you distinctly, uh, well, there was reference to your calling him Clay. And you know, we he all just know says how that, that to take me. He's a good, him. he's a nice man. He say that because it used to make me mad, but it don't no more. Oh, doesn't See, he? the press, now everybody calls me Ali. The press call me Ali. You call me Ali. Uh, the Ku Klux Klan even called me Ali. <laughs> that you over the years have given them thrills and entertainment and Thank fun you. and pleasure. And we're I'm very like, grateful for Thank it. Thank you. Do you pay me for this show? I asked how much money was I getting, you know, for taking up all my time. You know, I used to get a little paid for this. <laughs> And they said, you don't, your budget's kind of low and you don't pay too much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see five seconds in the life of a kid he'll never forget mixing it up with the champ. How about that? Are you scared? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you had more intelligence. They're trying to do the Ali shuffle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the regular dance that I use just before the shuffle. I'm moving and I'm moving and I'm jumping around and just before you know it, <laughs> I'm the side. You see, that's the side beat. Then this is the 
sounds silly. Yeah, I'm going to praise the question. Everybody know he's going to have on gloves like All me. All right, never mind. You talk like that's like another point. What am I going to have on? Okay, you cool. Oh, you you, you have on gloves like you me. Said we always have right. on the same thing. All right, just get the old man. We ain't got to be. No, no. Come on, man. Come on, Get in there, Michael. Get you there. You're coming very close. Watch it. 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 Watch it.
I love your show on Mario's style, but his pay is so cheap, I won't see you for a while. Goodbye. <laughs>